I'm getting ready to go on a business trip to Tampa. Welcome, sunshines. This is Nikita, your average investments analyst at a private credit, private equity firm. My firm opened up its Tampa office about one and a half years ago. So me and my coworker are visiting for four days to spend some time with the Tampa team and interns. And of course, to escape the New York City cold. And this is the building. At 9 a.m., Nikita walked into the office greeted all the Tampa folks, chose a corner seat, which apparently has the best background view, and started working away. Let's say this is the investment timeline. This here is the amount of time you spend underwriting a company, which takes two to three months, but of course in some cases can also take a lot longer. And this is when you complete all the due diligence on the company and ultimately close the transaction. Now your job isn't quite done after that. The company then becomes part of the firm's portfolio, what we call a portfolio company. And that's when the monitoring part kicks in. This spans plus or minus five years or the time the firm remains invested in the company. During this time period, you need to continuously monitor the company's performance and help the company in making strategic decisions to achieve growth, what we call value add. This part of the investment process is arguably even more important than the underwriting part. Think about it. The company can be the best company ever when you're looking at it, but if it doesn't perform well after you put your money in it, you will not get a good return on your investment. So every quarter, we have a firm-wide portfolio review. For each company, we put together a one-page workbook that includes an overview of the transaction, a snapshot of the company's financial statements, an internal valuation of the company and the securities, and commentary on the company's recent financial performance, key performance indicators, customers, and investment outlook. From 3.30 to 4, Nikita had a call about valuations for her portfolio companies basically discussing different input considerations that impact the valuation of the companies and their securities. From four to nine, Nikita worked more on her workbooks and also spent some time going over the workbooks with some of the interns. Nikita also received another task from an MD for a new deal that's due this Friday. So adding that to this week's deliverables. day I saw the Tampa office for the first time very nice to meet all of the interns different when you work remotely with them versus when you're actually able to work in person with them so day one done of Tampa go to sleep this is the view of my hotel room it's really nice I'm ready for day two of my Tampa business trip this is my outfit put a little bit of makeup on today. Nikita walked into the office at 8.55 a.m. Today, she has to finish three more workbooks and ideally start reviewing the new deal she got assigned to yesterday. At 9.30 a.m., Nikita hopped on a junior team meeting. The junior team meeting occurs weekly every Thursday. 
All junior team members get together to review some internal pipeline reports that need to be updated on a weekly basis. From 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., Nikita worked ferociously on her workbooks. On day three, Nikita primarily worked on the new deal. She downloaded the data room, read through the SIM, and started putting together an email summary, which is what the team uses to complete a preliminary screen of new opportunities. barbecue party um, at on the rooftop. Fresh chicken breast yeah, with some sauce today. three days. Here well, I'll put it for you. Welcome to Brazil. Welcome to Brazil. Very fired. Wow. Rick. At Babushka for brunch slash lunch and interior decoration is just it's a ukrainian restaurant and the decorations just look beautiful <laughs> <laughs> 